Hey beautiful treasures, welcome back. So we're going to pick up where we left off, working on the signatures. I've got two, but I did make a third just in case because I wanted you to see what it would look like with three signatures. Usually when there is three signatures, that usually means less embellishment, in my opinion. So what I've decided to do is take the third signature split it in half between the two signatures that I already created if I wanted to do the three signatures then I would have done the signatures first and then I would have done my journal last like created the the shell for it but since this already came as it is and I'm just filling it in, I've decided to do two signatures. And now let's take a look and that's what it would look like. And once we embellish it, it's gonna fill out the journal, which is what I'm going for. So before we start, I wanna show you and encourage you to consider making a list of things that you really enjoy about creating within your journal so that way you have something to look back on. I've made a list here and I usually check in to see if there's anything on this list that I can add if I run out of ideas or if my mind goes blank. But once I kind of go on a roller coaster and I'm good to go, I usually don't look at the list. But it's there if I need it and I'm thankful for that. So I'm going to start with adding a ribbons on but I'm also using scrap paper to fortify my page so the trick is to keep the the signatures less bulky I just use just like um, thin sheets of paper or just regular paper instead of cardstock paper and then I will bulk it up with scrap paper and here I'm just using my ink pad so that way I can give it that vintage look in my opinion. I don't have like all the vintage colors per se but I do have an ink pad that is brown or a dark brown maybe like a brown black and I find that that would probably do okay for what I'm trying to go for here. I'm using a little brush, but I'm also sure you could probably use an old toothbrush too if you don't have one of those little brushes. I'm going to go ahead and ink the page as well. Before I move on, I saw an opportunity that I could add a pocket right there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that that would be called the inside spine pocket that's what i've called it so that way i can remember what that would be and it's pretty much because it's close to the spine so that's why i named it that i'm gluing it down aligning my edges and securing All right, now I figured I'd like to add something right there in the front. So I'm just gonna kind of go through to see what I like best. I'm using my scrap paper from the pages that I've cut, but I'm also checking to see like what other things would work here. But I really like the scrap paper. So I'm just remembering to ink the things, the embellishments that I'm going to be adding to the journal. Here's my other pages, and I'm going to go ahead and pretty much do the same thing and ink all of the pages so I don't forget.
All right, now that I'm done, I'm gonna move on to just embellishing, which I know is definitely my favorite part. It's just adding things in, layering, seeing what works, what doesn't. I'm using this little ruler here that has jagged edges that I created on the ruler, thanks to, uh, oh, what's her name, Natasha from Treasure Books taught us how to give jagged edges to rulers you should definitely check out her channel she's awesome so again just using sheets layering looking to see what works what's going to go in and make things look pretty or also um, give that vintage vibe so to speak doing my best even though that is not my strong suit but i think at the end of the day it's really about about creating beautiful things just creating beauty I decided this was missing something and thought I'd add a tab there and then I'm gonna add a bow to that tab Alright, once I've got it, I'm going to go ahead and just glue it down. Looking good. Making sure it sticks out a little bit. And done. Now with this, I would like to show you a little trick. Maybe you already know this and maybe you don't. But if you don't have like foam sticker, which I did, but I just didn't want to use it because I didn't want it to be too bulky. But I want it to be off the paper, not exactly flat. So I just folded a, a scrap paper uh, in about maybe like two or three times. And then I glued it to the back and then glued it onto the paper. This is a great way to do that like 2D, 3D effect if you don't have the foam stickers. And then over here, I'm just going to add a little tab or a journaling card so that way the person who receives the journal will know that the page turns out. I decided to use a paper clip and going to just add a little bit of a ribbon on there so that way they know that it's there. that is supposed to be a pocket so I'm just adding some glue so we can turn it into a pocket but I did go back later on and you'll see that in the final flip through that I added an extra page in the back so that way it can give it more support instead of for having that flimsiness to it I'm gonna do the same thing with here is just looking to use my scrap paper that I had cut off and trying to see what would work good here with this page and then remembering to ink it before I lay it down. I would like to also give you permission to not feel the temptation to just go from page to page. I like to just go everywhere because sometimes trying to go and and like a um, numerical order, so to speak, can be a little bit peer pressure for me. So I just literally flip the journal and just add it everywhere versus going in a straight line so here I found this little envelope and I'm decorating it I've decorated it and I'm just laying it down I decided I was going to make a, a three pockets one will be at the top and then two on the side just creating a journaling card Turning that ribbon into a bow. And then I realize that gold is really pretty. So 
So I'm going to add it over to the side. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add this ribbon to the back. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm simply just using some scrap paper to lay it down on. So that way it gives it more of a sturdiness and doesn't make my edge floppy. And I'm just inking cards that I forgot to do to ink. It's looking good. It's coming along. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the same with the other signature. I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can use an envelope to turn into a pocket instead of for just having it off the page. I'm sure like, you know, a lot of people do this, but I just had this idea of, ooh, I can do more than one pocket here if I use that sheet, like just put the glue right there how I'm pointing that out. And that'll be a pocket and there'll be a pocket right there and just demonstrating that i also encourage you to use greeting cards i have tons of greeting cards and so that's what i did i just cut up a greeting card and turned that into a cute pocket and you'll see the finishing touches um, with the final flip through so I've completed this and now I want to show you how it fills out and this is with just two inserts being embellished two signatures that are embellished and it really came out beautiful because it will still close I don't need a closure and now I'm ready to just put my signatures within the journal I'm using that sheet so that way I can put holes and know where I'm going to line my holes up with where I've already marked. And I'm also going to use that sheet for the signatures as well so that way I can sew it into the journal. And that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. The last video that I will post will be the final flip through and you'll be able to see how it all came together.